What is Medicare Part D? Medicare Part D is an optional drug plan that covers prescriptions. It helps Medicare beneficiaries pay for their medications and are managed by private Medicare approved insurers. You may qualify for the Medicare prescription drug plan if you are enrolled on Medicare Part A and Part B. Medicare Parts A and B only covers hospital and medical benefits but does not cover prescription drugs covered by Part D. If you qualify for Medicare Part A and or B, you automatically qualify for Part D. Remember, if you are not enrolling in Medicare Part D, make sure you have credible prescription drug coverage that is as good as the Medicare Prescription Drug Benefit Standard. If you did not enroll for Medicare Part D when you were first eligible, and did not have credible prescription drug coverage for 63 days in a row or longer, you may be subject to a late registration penalty if you enroll for Part D later. This penalty comes in the form of an additional expense added to your monthly Medicare Part D premium. You may have to pay this greater premium for the rest of your life unless you qualify for extra help. Medicare prescription drug coverage is available in two different ways. Your Medicare prescription drug coverage can be provided by A. A standalone Medicare Part D plan, only prescription coverage. B. A Medicare Advantage plan that includes prescription drug coverage. Medicare Advantage, or Plan C, is packaged with Medicare Part D coverage, which covers the same health services as Parts A and B combined with additional benefits added onto the plan. If you join a Medicare Part D prescription drug plan, the national average monthly premium is $43 in 2022. If you join a Medicare Advantage plan, you may have zero premium. Your monthly premiums will vary depending on the benefits of your selected Medicare Part D plan or Medicare Advantage plan. Each Medicare prescription drug plan is different. Prescription drug plans may vary with a list of prescription drugs or formulary that are covered by the plan and pharmacy networks. Understanding the stages of Part D coverage. Throughout the year, you may go through various stages of drug coverage. There are four stages and understanding how each affects your prescription drug prices is critical. It's possible that you won't complete all of the stages. Those who only use a few prescription drugs may opt to stay in the deductible stage or only progress to the primary coverage stage. People who take a lot of medications or expensive ones may find themselves in the coverage gap, the Part D donut hole, and the catastrophic stage. The coverage stage cycle begins again at the start of each plan year, generally on January 1st. Annual Deductible You pay for your medications until your plan's deductible is met. If your plan does not have a deductible, your coverage begins the day you fill your first prescription. Initial Coverage Your plan pays the remaining after you pay a copay or coinsurance. You'll stay in this stage until your total drug expenses reach $4,430 in 2022. Donut Hole Coverage Gap In 2022, you will pay 25% of the cost of both brand name and generic medications. You stay in this stage until your total out-of-pocket expenses reach $7,050. Catastrophic coverage. You'll have to pay a small copay or coinsurance fee, and this is where you'll remain for the rest of the plan year. Total drug costs. The amount you or others on your behalf pay for your covered prescription drugs and the amount that your plan pays. This sum does not include your plan premium payments. Out-of-pocket costs 
When you're in the third coverage stage, the coverage gap, out-of-pocket costs are the amount you or others on your behalf pay for your covered prescriptions, plus the amount of the discount that drug makers provide on brand name drugs, the donut hole. This sum does not include your plan premiums. It's important to check your drug plan every year to make sure that your medications are covered under your existing Medicare Part D plan. You may qualify for some financial assistance through Social Security. In 2022, the annual income limit for extra help or low income subsidy for an individual is $20,385. For a married couple living together, the limit is $27,465. When your income is calculated, governmental assistance such as food stamps, housing assistance, and home energy assistance are not covered. Resource limits also apply when determining your eligibility for extra help. Your resources must be equal to or below $14,610 as an individual or $29,160 as a married couple living together. At Health Plans in Oregon, our goal is to make sure you have all the information you need about Medicare coverage. Let us help you. Our assistance is at no cost to you. Give us a call at 503-928-6918.